Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some changes that I make to my skincare and my foundation routine. Uh, once the temperatures drop outside, it gets a little drier and colder. Um, it's currently like 35 degrees in Austin, which if you have been to Texas or been to Austin, you know that is stinking cold. I know some of you guys are in much colder climates and you're thinking that that's a warm sunny day for you guys, but for us, it is cold and it literally, there's like no warning aside from the forecast. <laughs> but it, I mean, we literally went from 80 degrees like three days ago to 30 degrees today. So that's kind of how Texas weather is. So it's just a big shock to my skin. There's no really nice transition into it. So I definitely have to make some changes to the skincare that I use and also the makeup that I wear, specifically the foundation, um, and kind of tweak my steps in terms of like which powder products I use and all of that good stuff. So, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you a foundation that is not really new. I've actually shared this in several videos uh, over the last several months. I think it was in a favorites video over the summer. I used it over my, on my mom. I've talked about it on Instagram. It's a foundation that I've actually been enjoying for quite some time, but it's really the foundation that I think is gonna be perfect for me during this transition into cold, dry, months and and that foundation is the Miraness collagen cushion foundation uh, if you've been watching my videos regularly you've definitely heard me talk about this foundation this video is in partnership with Miraness so they did sponsor this video but you guys sponsored or not I love this foundation I mean just go back to a few months ago when I raved about it in a favorites video and that video was not sponsored they had no idea I was doing it so when we were talking about ideas of products that I could feature I was like why don't I talk about this product because I love it so I want to thank Miraness for partnering with me on this video all right, let's get started. So I, do I have anything on my skin right now? No, I don't. I removed my lashes yesterday in case you've been looking at me for the last two minutes thinking something's different about her. Yes, my lashes are gone. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. It's not a big deal. I know that you guys, it's just eyelashes, but it makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Anyway, this video is not about my lashes, so let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that's really important, especially in these dry cold months, and it's probably no news to you guys, is to hydrate your skin and use a really rich moisturizer. So one thing that I change when it gets cold and dry is my moisturizer. I usually wear something pretty lightweight during the day before I apply my makeup and at night is when I like my more uh, like thick rich moisturizers but when it comes to be dry and cold outside I kind of switch to using a rich um, emollient moisturizer day and night. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just applying a really nice rich moisturizer all over my skin. I will have these products linked down below for you as well. So I just want to make sure that my skin is really, really, really hydrated and moisturized. So what I particularly love about this foundation, and I have to say cushion foundations in general I've had really good luck with. I think they're very beautiful because they really mimic like a skin-like finish. Um, this one in particular I love because it's really buildable. Uh, you can get a really natural kind of sheer coverage, but you can build this guy up to get pretty good coverage as well. Um, it doesn't have a matte finish. It doesn't have a really illuminating finish. It's really right there in between the two. Um, I wouldn't even say it's like a, it's not like a natural matte finish. It really looks like natural skin. It has the finish of natural, healthy skin. Um, now, I, you can apply it a couple of different ways. It does come with a little puff in here to apply it, but I always toss those. Sorry, Miranus. <laughs> I toss them all. I, I prefer my beauty blender or my brush to apply um, products. So I'm actually going to apply it with both. I'm going to apply a beauty blender on one side and then a brush on the other. I'm just going to kind of walk you through like the coverage and what I'm seeing. So I'm just using my beauty blender and really pressing it into the product. I start in the center of my face. My nose has a lot more pink and red around that area than the perimeter of my face. I know we're all different, but for me, I have um, I need the most coverage there in the center. So I'm just going to press this all over. Um, it really blends in so quick and easy. This is not a product that takes a lot of time to blend in or work into the skin at all. I mean, if you are looking for a fast foundation routine, this is one that I would recommend. So this foundation is also really clean. It's free of parabens, it's free of alcohol, it's free of sulfates, it's free of mineral oil, it's free of synthetic fragrances. It's also a very moisturizing foundation, so it's great, obviously, for these drier months when your skin is lacking moisture. It has a collagen serum in it that's gonna actually help brighten the skin, and it also fills in fine lines. So it's just got a lot of benefits aside from just covering and concealing imperfections. Okay, so that is what it looks like on the right side. I, I really don't have any concealer on, so we're going to get to that step next, but I just want to show you guys kind of the difference between no foundation and the foundation. You can see that the right side where I've applied the foundation, my skin looks really natural. It has a very subtle, radiant um, kind of glow, and I don't even want to say the word glow because it's not dewy looking, but it just has this like lit from within kind of look, uh, and it just looks really natural. I think until I turn and you can see that clearly, you know, this side is more perfected, more flawless than the left side with no foundation. So 
that's what that looks like. I do like the Beauty Blender to apply this product because it really does just blend it into the skin really quick, gives good coverage, looks very natural. But And for the left side, I'm just going to use this round kabuki brush by IT, and I'm going to kind of do the same technique, just like press it into the product, press it onto the skin. Both tools are great. I, I can't really say one is better than the other. They both work the product into the skin really quickly, give good coverage, but have a nice natural finish. Oh, this foundation is so pretty, you guys. When they sent these to me originally back in the summer, they sent me a few different shades, and I think I've told the story, but in case this is the first video of mine you've seen, I gave one shade to my mom because she's lighter than me, and it was much lighter than me, and she texted me like two days later saying how much she loved it and how it covered all of her age spots and it just looked really good, um, and she just loved it. And my mom's not a big makeup girl, so... Um, I was really surprised to get that text, to be honest, because I didn't know if she was going to use it anytime soon, but she did. She loves it. Okay, so I'm going to apply this all over my face, and oh, it's so pretty. It's so skin-like. This foundation really is buildable. For me, what it means to be a buildable foundation is that you can get sheer coverage, but you can also build it to get more coverage and still look good. I mean, let's be honest. We, we can all apply more of any foundation, right, to get more coverage, but is it going to look good? Is it going to look like skin? Is it going to look natural, or is it going to look really heavy and cakey? Um, you know, not every foundation, in my opinion, is buildable, even though, like I said, yes, you can put more of anything and it'll get, add more coverage, but how pretty is it going to look? How nice is it going to look? When a foundation can be built for more coverage but still look pretty and nice and natural, that is buildable. And this foundation certainly is buildable for me. Okay, so if I'm looking at the two sides, I do get slightly more coverage on the left with the brush. But again, both tools are great. So whether you have a brush like this or a beauty blender, you're going to be happy with the application process. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and conceal under the eyes. And I'm just using a Cover FX concealer. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. So when my skin is feeling really dry, I also like to reach for just more hydrating products. So not only is that my foundation, but my concealer. Um, I might even try a cream blush versus a powder blush. Uh, more emollient lipsticks versus matte lipsticks. Just anything to give hydration to my skin. Anything that's really drying will emphasize texture in the skin. And my skin's already going to be drier because of the climate. That I just want to use products that are adding moisture. Okay, I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of this on my eyelid. So sometimes I set with a powder and sometimes I don't feel the need to. One of the benefits about drier, colder months is I don't really have to touch up as much throughout the day as I do when it's really hot or really humid outside because my skin's not producing as much oil, it's not getting shiny. When I touch this, I do feel the need to set with a powder though. So I am going to set it with a little bit of loose powder. Um, I find that in when it's drier and colder, I don't really have to touch up as much throughout the day. But I do like to apply a little bit of setting powder, especially in the key areas where I do produce a little bit more oil, um, just to ensure that my foundation stays in place and kind of locks it down. Especially because I applied that moisturizer, my skin feels the need to be set. So I'm going to go in and I'm using this duo fiber brush. It's gonna pick a little amount of product up and apply it very sheerly, but I am gonna go and just kind of press it into the lid here just to remove any excess because I don't wanna apply more powder than I need. Just gonna kind of set here in the center of my face, on my chin, and on my forehead. That's where I tend to produce more oil. I do like to set just to ensure that the foundation stays in place. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and I have to say I am loving this makeup look. Um, I actually filmed this tutorial, so this will be up somewhere around when this video goes up. Um, I recreated a look that I was challenged to do in our Facebook uh, Beauty Chit Chat group page. Um, it was a look that uh, Marlena from Makeup Geek did, and I think it is so pretty. I think I might just be happy because I have some lashes on. <laughs> So let's recap the foundation before we close out this video. This foundation's been on my skin for about 45 minutes. So I've applied my makeup, I ran downstairs and did a couple things, um, and I just can't sing this foundation enough praises. It is such a natural finish, but nice coverage foundation. I think that this is a great foundation for mature skin. If you guys missed my video where I did my mom's makeup recently, I'll link that video down below. I used this foundation on her skin. I think it's a fantastic foundation for all skin type, especially for mature or dry skin because it is very moisturizing, it has anti-aging skincare benefits in it, it is going to help kind of minimize the appearance of fine lines or texture in the skin, and it just looks like skin, you know? It gives you great, phenomenal coverage, but it just looks like skin. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look flat, it doesn't set to a matte finish, it just sets to a nice natural finish, but it gives great coverage. You know, you can build it and get a lot of coverage from this product without having the look of heavy makeup. Um, and it's very hydrating, anti-aging benefits. I just think it's a great product. So thank you so much, Miraness, for partnering with me on this video. I'm 
I don't really do a ton of sponsored content on my channel, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I tend to work with the same brands because I truly love their product, you guys. Um, so I want to thank Miraness for partnering with me on this video, and thank you guys for watching it. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!